Have you ever pondered what causes your soul to ache, to feel heavy and burdened? It's a question that's more profound than it might initially appear. Soul trauma often stems from deeply ingrained emotional pain or unresolved issues from past lives. It's a weight that we carry, often unknowingly, that can significantly influence our current life. In our exploration of soul trauma, we'll be drawing from the work of Dolores Cannon, a renowned past life therapist. Her research and insights provide a foundational understanding of this complex issue. Through her work, we begin to see how our past lives can echo into our present, causing a ripple effect of emotional and spiritual consequences. As we delve into the 10 signs of soul trauma, consider whether you've experienced these feelings or symptoms. It's a journey of introspection and healing, one that could open the door to profound personal transformation. Signs of soul trauma. The first sign of soul trauma is a pervasive sense of sadness. It's not just the occasional melancholy or blue day we're talking about here. This is a deep-seated sorrow that seems to permeate every facet of your existence, like a dense fog that never lifts. It's a sadness that doesn't have a clear source or reason. You may have every reason to be happy, yet happiness eludes you. You're like a tree in winter, stripped of its leaves, standing bare against the cold. Moving on to the second sign, inexplicable fear or anxiety. This is not the usual apprehension before a big event or the butterflies in your stomach on a first date. It's a constant undercurrent of uneasiness, a feeling as if you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. You could be sitting in a peaceful garden, surrounded by beauty, yet a nagging sense of dread persists, casting a long shadow over your tranquility. The third sign is a feeling of being out of place or disconnected. It's as if you're a jigsaw piece from a different puzzle, trying in vain to fit into a picture that's not yours. You may find yourself asking, why do I feel like an outsider? Despite being in a crowd, you feel alone. Despite having connections, you feel detached. It's like you're a wanderer in a world where everyone else seems to have found their home. Each of these signs is a whisper from your soul, a call for help that's often drowned out by the noise of everyday life. They may not be glaringly obvious, they may not scream for attention, but they persist. They linger like a faint echo, a subtle reminder of a deeper wound that needs healing. These signs are not always obvious, yet they linger, casting a shadow over your soul's journey. But remember, recognizing these signs is the first step towards healing. It's the first step towards reclaiming the light that soul trauma has dimmed. It's the first step towards embarking on a journey of soulful recovery and spiritual awakening. Moving forward, the fourth sign of soul trauma is a lack of motivation or passion. When your soul is wounded, the zest for life that once filled your being may feel like it's been extinguished. You may find yourself going through the motions, doing the bare minimum to get by. You might feel uninspired, uninterested, and just plain tired. But this isn't just your typical burnout or fatigue. It's a profound exhaustion that seeps into every facet of your life, leaving you feeling like a shadow of your former self. Let's move on to the fifth sign, frequent nightmares or disturbing dreams. Dreams are the language of our subconscious mind and can often reflect our deepest fears and anxieties. When you're carrying a soul trauma, your dreams can become a battleground filled with terrifying images and unsettling scenarios. You might wake up in a cold sweat, your heart pounding, feeling more exhausted than when you went to bed. You may even start to dread sleep fearing what nightmares may come. And now, on to the sixth sign, physical ailments with no discernible cause. Have you ever been to the doctor, undergone a battery of tests, only to be told that there's nothing physically wrong with you? Yet you know something is off. You feel it in your body. You might experience unexplained aches and pains, chronic fatigue, or sudden onset of allergies. 
these physical symptoms are your body's way of communicating that something is amiss at a deeper, spiritual level. Each of these signs on their own may not seem significant. After all, who hasn't felt a lack of motivation, had a disturbing dream, or experienced an unexplained physical symptom? But when these signs persist, when they start to interfere with your daily life, then it's time to pay attention. It's time to listen to what your soul is trying to tell you. These signs can often be mistaken for common ailments, yet they are the soul's cry for healing. As we move deeper, the seventh sign of soul trauma is a sense of impending doom. This isn't about the occasional worry or anxiety most people experience. It's a constant, pervasive feeling that something terrible is about to happen, even when there's no rational reason for it. Your soul, carrying the weight of unresolved trauma, projects this fear onto your everyday life, casting a shadow over even the most ordinary moments. Next, we have the eighth sign, feeling emotionally numb or detached. This is more than just having a bad day or feeling off. It's a persistent state of disconnection, as if you're floating outside of your own life, watching it unfold from a distance. Your emotions might seem muted, or you might struggle to feel anything at all. This numbness is your soul's way of protecting you from the pain of its trauma, but it also cuts you off from joy, love, and connection. The ninth sign of soul trauma is recurring patterns of negative behavior. You might find yourself repeating the same mistakes, getting into the same types of unhealthy relationships, or falling into the same self-destructive habits, no matter how hard you try to change. These patterns aren't a sign of personal failure, they're a reflection of the trauma your soul is holding onto. Until this trauma is healed, these patterns will continue to replay like a broken record. And finally, the tenth sign is an intense desire for solitude. This isn't about enjoying some alone time or needing space to recharge. It's about wanting to withdraw from the world completely. You might find yourself avoiding social interactions, losing interest in activities you once loved, or feeling overwhelmed by the thought of being around others. This is your soul's way of signaling its need for healing, for quiet and solitude to process its trauma. These signs, while often overlooked, are your soul's way of communicating its need for resolution and peace. As we revisit these 10 signs of soul trauma, remember, recognition is the first step towards healing. We've journeyed together through the terrain of soul trauma, marking the footprints of its presence. We've examined the 10 signs that may indicate you're carrying a soul trauma. Remember, if many of these signs resonate with you, it may be beneficial to seek professional help. Therapists, counselors, and spiritual healers are trained to guide you through the process of soul healing. You are not alone in this journey. In the journey of the soul, awareness is the lighthouse that guides us through the darkest storms towards the tranquility of healing. Thank you for watching.